for our channel and viewers like you. So we have a short video for you all where we are going to give you a full look into our packs and how we make our videos. As for backpacks, we have three that we really use. This really old Coleman Max that I've probably had for almost a decade now and has been to many countries all over the world with me is served as a really good day pack and fits the camera, tripod, and any other gear we usually need such as a water bottle or GoPro, a snack, something like that. Here we have a Wuhan Volume 50 which we purchased on Amazon. Uh, it's a backpacking backpack. And Caleb has the Outlander Extreme 55, so it's a little bit bigger than mine, and this is where we keep all of the gear. Full disclosure, we are trying to practice minimalism on all of our travels, and we have maybe three pairs of clothing each, and only a handful of personal items to our name. Things like nail clippers, some small combs, uh, headlamps, some solar lights, and flashlights, for example. I have a small makeup bag. I brought my art sketch pad and also a drawing kit here. I also don't use any store-bought tampons or pads. I use reusable pads that come in wet bags like this. I'll definitely put a link in the bio of where you can get these and people who actually make them homemade, which I think is awesome. So since we're in remote areas and travel on the go, I think it's best resourceful for us in the lifestyle that we want to live. For our shoes, we purchased these online, each of these, and they are quote unquote barefoot water walking shoes, if that makes any sense. I love the outside or the soles of them. They leave like an interesting footprint and they're really great with hiking. I feel that we have enough grip and we can just walk in water and these, it's perfectly fine. And we really do enjoy them a lot. It's probably the only shoes we'll ever wear for the rest of our lives. As for how we film our videos, almost one of our packs entirely is dedicated to just filming and photography gear. So first thing for drone footage, we have ourselves a DJI Spark that is an awesome little thing, has some great features, it's super compact, and it comes in this, at least for us, uh, with a little durable black kind of styrofoam case that's great to just put it in and throw into a backpack when you're, uh, when you're traveling. As for moving or action shots, when it's hard to use the full rig, we use a GoPro Hero 7 Black. It's great for all the action shots, whether you're on the back of a horse or a motorcycle or riding in a truck. We usually just throw it in this little case and tripod, and it works wonders. And we can take it wherever, if it's raining or not, it's great. Now, for our main setup and our filming rig, we use a combination of three things of which we're using right now. We have a Mozo Mini P3 Access Gimbal, a Rode Video Micro Microphone, Lastly, we have our Sony A6400, which is probably our most important and favorite item we have for our travels to date. We haven't had any problems with it, really. The Bose P Mini is a great compact foldable gimbal. The Rode Video Micro is a batteryless compact microphone that attaches to our camera that produces great quality sound and results. Now, for the big champ of them all is our Sony A6400. Long film time and small enough to fit in our camera bag. With the Sony A6400, we only brought the 16 to 50 kit lens. On top of that, when we don't have either the camera or the GoPro on us, uh, we have a Poco F2 phone. 
phone, which is a 64 megapixel camera on a phone and really puts out some pretty impressive footage when we needed to. For all the footage we end up capturing, we edit on a couple of powerful laptops and we dump all of our footage onto two Seagate 5 terabyte hard drives that should hopefully last us for a while. So Shay, what is one thing if you could have, do you wish you would have brought? A new wardrobe that I could like change into mentally throughout our travels. I gave away a lot of clothes that I shouldn't have, that I wish I had today. So more clothes, but less is more. So Caleb, if you could bring one thing or one item or one thing you wish you had with you, what would it be? Uh, I wish we would have brought maybe at least one or two more lenses for the camera. Particularly, I wish I had a macro lens to take close-ups of flowers and insects uh, and maybe some particular product photos that it's hard to get close-ups on. That concludes our video. If you liked what you saw here today and want to see more, please like, subscribe, and tell us what you think down in the comments. Bye! Bye.